This is called Sandbox. Now we are looking at a simple Next.js application and we can see the file tree and we can see index.js file and there's a, the browser showing the application. Then I can add some to-dos and I have some terminal logs here and I have the console log, browser console log like that. And I can, I can click this uh, icon and open this window, open this uh, page in a different tab. So I can copy this URL and create more tabs if I want. Uh, the first thing you need to do is create a your own version of this sandbox. So then you can edit with that. Just click this fork button. Then it will ask you to sign in with GitHub. Then you can add some changes. For example, let's change the background color to red and click and save. Control S for save. You can also go file and save it. Then it will, for the first time, it will uh, initialize the sandbox container. It will take a couple of minutes. Yeah, now we have the edited version, but now I can change them very quickly just like my usual local development environment. So that's it about Code Sandbox.